Today, everyone's staring at this chimney, waiting for either white or black smoke, meaning there's a new pope, or the conclave continues another day. Behind the scenes, though, there's actually real pyrotechnic chemistry going on to ensure that the smoke ends up the right color, and not in some gray area, which has caused some confusion in the past. So starting in 2005, the Vatican began installing not one, but two stoves in the Sistine Chapel. One where the cardinals actually burn their ballots, and a second that has chemical cartridges specifically formulated to produce white or black smoke. This is where the pyrotechnics come in. So when you light something on fire, you're starting a combustion reaction. And that always requires two things, a fuel and an oxidizer. If you're starting a campfire, that would be wood and the oxygen in the air. If you burn or combust something completely, you usually just end up with carbon dioxide and water, which in this case, we don't want. We want incomplete combustion, which leaves a bunch of little particles in the air that we see as smoke. To do this, we want to stop the reaction before it combusts the fuel completely, by lowering the temperature of the reaction, or designing it to have more fuel than oxidizer. Those are the general principles underlying what they're doing in the Vatican. To produce black smoke, the Vatican's using a classic three-ingredient cocktail. Potassium perchlorate is the oxidizer, anthracene is the fuel, which is good at imperfectly combusting to leave a bunch of particles of carbon, which we see as black smoke, and sulfur to kind of help the reaction along, because anthracene doesn't readily burn, and sulfur easily combusts. Now for the white smoke, we've got a different chemical cocktail going on. In this case, the oxidizer is potassium chlorate, the fuel is lactose, which you may recognize from dairy or your intolerance to it, and our bonus ingredient is a type of pine resin sometimes known as Greek pitch. The first two ingredients are a pretty common pair to create smoke in pyrotechnics. It's the resin that actually makes the smoke white, because pine resin is relatively rich in water and these long chain hydrocarbons called carboxylic acids. Together, these two things ensure that combustion will produce a whole bunch of water vapor, so it's really just a little artificial cloud that will ultimately herald the new pope. 